Hey everybody, it's Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard, and today I'm going to be showing you Test Project's CICD pipeline and how it works with uh, the Monitor tab, which tells you what jobs are up and running, have recently executed, and their results. So let me go over to my homepage and my Candy Mapper site, and you're going to see that over here is where my jobs are set up. I could add a new job, but I've got one already set to go. And I want to take my bad email and execute it on a scheduled point in time. And as I dragged it in, you'll see that it incremented from zero tests to one tests. And um, I also want to edit what this is going to run on. So I'm going to go and edit. But here I can say, well, do I want it to run? I was going to run on Chrome. Oh, I want it to run on Chrome and Firefox. So we'll do that. And uh, there's email notifications that we can set up when it starts, when it finishes. And this should send this back over to my Dark Arts Wizard email when we are complete. The last thing we need to do is schedule this job to execute. I could say, hey, run it right now, or just run it this one time at this moment. But no, I want to have this recurring. So I want it to run every Friday at 10 a.m. and I want it to run every 10 minutes. So I'm going to hit save on that. And now let's go back and take a look at our monitor. Well, our monitor says that there is a scheduled future job now set up to go. And we can adjust the schedule of that. We can run it immediately. All right, so we have a new test scheduled to run in three, two, one. And we're going to check for some emails and see if this executes. There's our execution kicking off. And we just got an alert that says that the job has started. Populating my name and my email and checking for the error message and the validation. We first started that on Chrome. Now let's go do that on Firefox. There's my name. And there is the email, verify the message, and we are done. And another update that our project was done. And there's all our inboxes saying that our test had been scheduled to run, came in. And, well, look at this, we got a, a summary of this test. 50 passed, 50% 50 failed. Let's go to the full report. Under our full report, yep, 50% passed. Well, this is our Chrome pass. That's great. What up and over on Firefox? Well, everything passed except for moving the mouse to the mouse button. And it did take a screen capture, and the error says that the target was out of bounds. Something to kind of take a look at. Not exactly a complete failure. Everything else worked perfectly fine. So you might have one more question. Where is Jenkins in all of this? Well, there isn't any Jenkins. That's a CI-CD pipeline feature that's built right into Test Project. It's available to you all in one from day one. However, when you're ready to scale up, Test Project provides a plugin for Jenkins. So I'm Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard. Please follow me up on YouTube, share the videos, tell your friends, and don't forget to check out some of these videos over here for more stuff about Test Project and other automation projects. Have yourself a great day.